I don't know if this happens to you, but sometimes all I want to send to Evernote are the files I got on an email, not the entire email. I came up with a solution using the Evernote import folders and Google Drive. Let me show you how it works and then I'll explain you how to set it up. Here's an example, as you can see, it's a long email, but I only want to send to Evernote this image and this PDF. So what I'm going to do here is tap the Google Drive icon and then select Evernote, travel, and that's it. Save. I'll do the same with the PDF. And while I do it, keep an eye on Evernote, select save. Now let's see what's going to happen here on the computer. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the map is there. The PDF might be coming next. And there's the PDF. So this is an image and this is a PDF file. So let me show you how you can set this up. If you don't have Google Drive installed, please go to google.com slash drive, download and follow the steps to install it on your computer. Once that's done, we have to change a setting. Go to Preferences, Google Drive. Here we have two options, Stream Files and Mirror Files. We need it to be Mirror Files because we need a copy of the files on the computer. So let's change this. Confirm location. Okay, now find the Google Drive folder on your computer. Inside it will create a Evernote folder. Inside that folder, we can create other folders. For example, travel, uh, maybe receipts. You soon understand why I created a parent folder and inside that folder, other folders, but this is optional. Okay, let's go to Evernote. Settings and import folders, connect a folder. Now let's go to Google Drive, My Drive, Evernote. Let's start with travel, select it. Evernote will always select your default notebook, but you can click here and choose a different notebook. And there's no need to have the same name on the notebook and on the folder. I just think it's easier to remember and that's why I use the same name. Let's connect another one. Okay, apply changes. Now, every time you add a new file, Evernote will create a new note with that file inside the note and that note will be in one of those notebooks. Okay, let's try this. Here's the travel notebook and let's drag this trip to Paris to the travel notebook. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Now let's go to the other one, the receipts notebook. Okay, and the same will happen. This is an image file, that other one was a PDF, but both were transferred to Evernote. And as you can see here, the name of the file becomes the name of the note. Okay, now let's try it on Gmail. Let's go back to the travel notebook here. And I just got this email here. There's a PDF. All you have to do here is hover the mouse over the PDF, click the drive icon and select organize. And here I think you understand why having an Evernote folder makes things easier. This is a Google account that I use to record my videos, but on my real Google Drive, I have a lot of folders and files. And I think you can agree with me that having an Evernote folder is an easy way to get to those other folders. So this is a travel itinerary. Let's select travel and move the file there. Let's go back to Evernote and 
wait for Google Drive to do its work. Wow, that one was fast. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's click here and here we have it. Have you ever thought about using Evernote and Google Drive like this? Do you have other ideas, other tips? In other words, how do you Evernote? Thanks for watching. See you soon.